Hi everyone, it's Mary Jo. Welcome back to my channel. I am doing the Capricorn Solar Return and this is for December 19th, 2016 through December 19th, 20th, 2017. Capricorn is December 19th this year, 2016 to January uh, 18th or 19th, 2017. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn and their glyph is the sea goat. It looks like a goat and it, yes, it, it has also like a twisted knotted tail of a fish. That's the ancient Babylonian image. The more modern one just shows it as a goat. Okay, and we're going to look at the, um, the different 10 day or decanates in the 30 day sign of Capricorn as I do with all of the signs. Now, we know that Capricorn is a feminine sign. Okay, it is an earth sign of the earth elements, okay? It is also a cardinal sign. And their mantra is, I use. Their polar opposite is cancer. So in the zodiac wheel, which zodiac in Greek means circle of uh, animals. So their opposing or polarity is cancer. Now cancer is nurturing, loving, warm, very feeling. And Capricorn is uh, more earthy and more grounded and it's a reliability dedication, responsibility, okay, uh, and it's more toward others, okay, also. So with the first 10 days we have for this year, it's December 19th, okay, through December 30th, your keyword is responsibility and your constellation is Corona Australis, the southern crown. It's like a garland of the gods. The constellation symbolizes commitment to knowledge and your sub-ruler is still Saturn, the second 10 days would be like December 31st this year till January 9th. Your keyword is fairness and your constellation is Lyra, the harp, formed by the god Mercury from a tortoise shell. Lyra symbolizes harmony and your sub-ruler is Venus. The third decanate or the third 10 days, which make up the 30 days, is from January 9th or 10th through, <clears throat> excuse me, January 19th. And your key word is honor. Your constellation is Draco, the dragon, the seeing one who guarded the golden apples. The dragon symbolizes observation and intuition, and your sub-ruler is Mercury. Okay, so that's a little bit about Capricorn. And we know that you're a very reliable, dedicated, earthly, grounded individual, or at least that is your higher vibrational energy. Okay, you want to do service to others. You want to be responsible. You are hardworking. You are one who loves to learn, but one who loves to also do for others. But with all the work that you do, you do look for recognition. Hey, we all do, right? But Capricorn wants recognition for their hard work. They're the ones who take on all the difficulties or struggles, and they work through it almost with a seeming ease. Um, and remember, too, that it's ruled by Saturn. Saturn is karma, father, time old paradigms, it is structure, it is form, it is government, it's religion, it's anything that's an old solid foundation and in control. So that planet being your ruler is the one that limits you, restricts you, but all of us, Saturn does that to all of us. It is the benefic or planet that gives you things after you've worked for it. It restrains you, like you know when you have horses in the pen that you're breaking, you will reward them with freedom after you break them, after they give and do the work, and then they're balanced and calm. So it's the same thing with Saturn. It will give you all these things that you want in life, but you have to work hard for it first. It's not gonna be just handed to you. Okay, I'm doing the modified Celtic cross. So um, usually my Celtic cross goes out for nine months, but this is just an overview, it's a general reading. Okay, so let's see what we have for Capricorn for this solar return. Happy solar return, happy birthday. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. Now, of all the four queens, this queen is really put up with a lot and gone through a lot in her life or his life because this represents all of the Capricorns with this. It is an air sign. Now, the queens do rule emotions, all of them, which is a water, but she embodies and imbues the sword, which is the mental realm, the intellectual realm. So we know that a lot of us in this past year have been through a lot. Some of us have been through loss, painful loss. Some of us 
some of us have really have really taken on a lot of stress too. And you can see our faces are kind of worn. You know, there's kind of a cold, bleak background. Yes, Capricorn in the northern states is of the winter months. It welcomes in the solstice. That's why you're a cardinal sign. It's a beginning. You welter in, welcome in the winter here. And in the southern hemisphere, it's the summer. But for many of you, um, this has been a rough year. Like I said, you've taken a lot of weight on your shoulders. And this queen embodies that. She's taken on a lot more than most people can bear. And she's still standing. Um, a lot has been learned. <clears throat> a lot of wisdom has come to you. A lot of you have gone through a period where maybe you were out of balance, because this cord, score, sword does represent, excuse me, balance. And it's integrity, they're saying, too. So many of you have learned that, balance and integrity in this last year. There has been, um, this isn't clouded to me, they're saying. This is gray. It's been bleak. You, you've had a rough year. You've had a very rough year. You've persevered though. You're still standing. You've gone through a lot of pain and suffering, a lot of loss. You've taken a lot of weight on your shoulder. Um, through it, you have matured. Now this is very much of a Saturn energy, which is you. It's maturity, maturation through this past year. And sometimes it wears and tears the body. Uh, sometimes it strengthens the body. Sometimes it wears and tears the mind. And other times it strengthens the mind. So they're saying you've gone through a little bit of both. You're weathered from this year. Very weathered. Okay? Very weathered. It almost looks like a sky that's ready to snow. And you see there's nothing growing here. It's, it's barren. It's dry. I'm going to... Oh, they're saying it's dormant. Okay. So we're entering a period where things are dormant right now. Um, oh, from this year. Things have been... Okay. So a lot of things have transpired in your life and, and maybe you're just ready to go into the dormants, the sleep. You're looking for some reprieve and some break right now. Now we do, I keep looking at this greenery here. So we know this is a cycle. The evergreen is always green, no matter what the weather it endures, very much like the Capricornians, they endure. So during this time that you need some rest from this bleak past year or events of the year, it's time for you to go into a dormancy. It's time for you to just, like the earth does, in the winter time, she goes into a sleep. Everything is slowing down in the autumn, and then it comes to a stop in the winter, save for some things that are still amongst us to show that there is always hope for new life. So there is hope for new life. This year, look for it. Remember, we're ending a 2016 is a nine vibration which nine is the endings. It's a culmination of all the single digits. All right. And then 2017, when you add the numbers, that becomes a 10, one plus zero. So this is a new beginning, exponentially greater. Okay. So this is behind us. Let's leave it where it is. Be grateful for the transition, the growth, everything that's come to you. Okay. And know that all that stretching and growth and pain and seeming loss Trials and tribulations were all part of your soul's growth. So hats off to you, Capricornians. You've done a wonderful, wonderful year's worth of growth, maturation, and learning. Be kind to yourself. Give yourself a break. And can we have the Ten of Wands? Now, the Ten is that new beginning. So that kind of goes along with here. So we have this ending into the past, 2016, now the new beginning. Now, why am I not surprised to see a Capricornian taking on more work than anybody else? I mean, it's, it's so you, all righty? Now, with the Ten of Wands, we do have, actually, this is the time frame for about this time now. This is uh, December 13th to the 21st with the Ten of Wands. The Wands is your fire element. It's your creative all spark. It is your virility, vitality, that masculine, divine energy of creation, okay? And we have some beautiful colors here. We see that the autumn is ending, which is so true for the time of Capricorn because you welcome in the, the winter solstice. But you see like you're trudging along, head down. You know, you've got one planted in front of you, support. Support. That's spirit. Spirit is always there to support you, even when you take on more than you need to. But that's very much the energy you are. And this is Saturn and Sagittarius. So it's beautiful. We are still looking at um, 
oh my gosh, that's right. Saturn is in Sagittarius right now until the end of next year. Okay, so this is the uh, the Saturn return for people that were born under Saturn and Sag. So for many of you that are having your Saturn return, first Saturn return is between 28 and 30 years. Second Saturn return is like between, like between 56 and 58, 59 years. And then your third Saturn return with the help of God is in your 80s, like 80, 45. So for many of you, this is your Saturn return and it's the beginning of it or you're in it. So that's wonderful. That makes a lot of sense, Spirit. But we know what Saturn, it is again, hard work, dedication, structure, form, reliability, resolute responsibility, and dedication with recognition. And then we have in Sagittarius, it's freedom. It's higher learning, higher philosophies. So opposite of Saturn, okay? Because Saturn wants you to stay stuck in what works and is tried and true. And Sagittarius is like, hell no, let's try the new stuff. Let's break out, you know? So this is quite a conundrum here. And um, it's interesting because it's saying, you're willing to do all the work and you have been and you probably will your whole life you will always take on so much more because it is in who you are to put it upon yourself this weight this burden but with this sagittarian energy it is saying it's helping you to break free in many ways of old paradigms perhaps this year is the year that you will say well you know what I'm going to lighten the load. I'm going to start a new me. I will balance my energy because this is energy. It's work in a social situation, but the wands is your energy. Like I said, your vitality, your virility. Okay. And Saturn is that uh, like uh, restrictions and things that you have to do and be responsible, you know, be the good warrior. So here we're saying this year, you're going to take on a different way of taking on your burdens. You will be um, working at things and dedicating responsible. That's just who you are. We have all this beautiful orange colors. This is going to be a different year for you guys. It's going to be more creative. Maybe a lot of you are artists and musicians or people who work with your hands. You could even be a nurse, a doctor, any vocation or trade, whatever your work is, it's going to be much more creative for you this year. And you're solidly, step by step, increasing um, your foundation. Because we do know you need structure and form foundation. But you're looking for something free and new. Maybe some of you will be traveling, going abroad, or it's something foreign to you because that's very Sagittarian. Higher learning, higher philosophies, travel, foreign travel. Or even if it's in your own neighborhood, different groups of people, different ethnicities, different religions, different beliefs. This is all branching out because that's very Sagittarian and putting that fire and energy. So step by step, head down, you are working toward, you see this like right here? You're going toward the solid foundation, the safe place, the home, the hearth. Um, but like I said, with all this beautiful empowered energy and uh, creative energy, you're really going to have a very nice year of um, new beginnings, new foundations, the steps leading you up higher to something higher, higher, they're saying something higher in your life. Now, it could be because of it being Saturn, it could be about your work and you have the ones work and social situation, but could even be a home, traveling to new lands other places, other cultures. But this is a beginning. And remember, spirit's always with you to lean on, okay? God gives you that that one to take it and walk, take the steps, and of course you will. You're blazing trails here. And then what we have here, okay. Now the seven of swords, <clears throat> excuse me, I know it looks like a different energy here. So this is more February. This is February 9th through the 18th. This is the moon in Aquarius. All right, so this is your emotions. Now, that's a little bit of an uncomfortable feeling for Capricornia to deal with emotions, okay? Because they like to stay very grounded and earthy. You know, they, wa they want to just have everything, like I said, status quo. Now, with the Seven of Swords, it's saying here, let's see what they're telling us. Okay, they're saying, so here, all this work you put into this, and you're looking for this big payoff or... You're working toward your goal. Your emotions are feeling a little bit perplexed here because here it's February and you feel like I'm not there yet. I get it. That's so me. You know, I want everything like 
today. Gemini's won it yesterday, and the air signs usually do want it yesterday. So since this is an Aquarius with the moon as your emotions, we have water and, um, and air. So that's not a very uh, comfortable blending. You're feeling like you need to take more control. You, you feel like you, you're getting cheated here or robbed. You're feeling like, man, I'm putting all this work into this, and look, I'm still not done. But wait. Okay, look, Capricorn. Look. Look at the green on the ground. Look at all the green around you. There's life there. There is growth. There is progress. I'm sure you're not seeing it right now, but we're going from this very bleak, dormant period. And here, too, we see some color with creativity a brewing in work and social situation and energy. So here we're seeing it's starting to become lush and green. So by February, when you start to feel a little mm, gloomy, ho-hum, like, well, I'm not getting what I, I want and need here. Remember, that's your thoughts and your words are saying these things. Things are going on right beneath your feet where you're the most comfortable, Capricorn, in the earth. Life is coming. It is going to be renewed. You shall see the results. Again, spirit's there to help you. There's someone there to help you pick up the pieces. So mentally, if you're feeling distraught, because these are your words and your thoughts, there is someone there. Talk to spirit. Talk to someone around you. Know that this, this seemingly, this burden, like I said, that you're going to be dealing with, so you're going to have a little fall off the wagon here maybe in February. Just know it too shall pass. Progress will be seen to you. You will be seeing it. But during that period where your emotions are feeling like, I can't take this anymore, just know with that Aquarian energy, because the moon in Aquarius, we know that it is, again, a freeing feeling. It's out of the box. It's something unorthodox. It's something eccentric. It's that genius information. Be very careful because it is the mental realm. So why don't you put this creative energy into something for you where you could take a stand for yourself and say, okay, I know I'm working hard and it's, it's not giving me the results I need. Put your energy into something else creative to distract you from this, something unorthodox, something quirky, something fun, unusual. Again, work, social situation, groups, organizations, that's very Aquarian, to take your heart into a different place to ease your mind. But no, look, it's coming, it's coming. And even the sky, it looks a little dark, your head is down here, but it's just your thoughts. You need to change your thoughts. And the way you're feeling, I can't tell you how to feel. But I can tell you that your feelings do ignite these things to happen in your lives much more rapidly. So wouldn't you want to take that, that fire and put it to something positive and creative? So try and remember what spirit is saying here for you. And then here in your foundation, so we have the five of swords. Again with these swords. Okay, <clears throat> this is Venus and Aquarius. All right. So we're also covering two of the sub-rulers here with our Capricornians, all right? We've got the Saturn energy, we've got Venus energy here, and Mercury is the swords, by the way. So they're talking right at all of you and all of us who have this energy affecting us, okay? So let's see. This is January 20th to the 29th. So this is a little bit before here, so around the same time frame. So with the Five of Swords, again, look, both cards feel like you got robbed. You feel like, you see? You feel like something was cheated or stolen from you. You feel like all of this stuff, I'm doing all this work and I'm not seeing the results that I need. So I'm going to say for some of you, you're not really going to um, get out of the funk right away. You know, let's be honest. I, I am telling you the way it is. Some of us respond differently. Some of us um, work differently. I mean, we all work differently. That's what makes us individuals. Some of you like I said, is going to see some suffering and pain here, but it's self-created and it's your emotions. And for others of us, you're really going to get into a deeper kind of funk about this. This is where you're, you actually do feel like someone cheated you. Um, you were robbed. Um, or maybe you cheated yourself. Maybe you're feeling that, wow, I put all of this energy, mental energy into all of this work and I haven't seen the results. Now, Venus does rule, yes, love. For some of you, it'll talk about love, a relationship. You feel like you got robbed or cheated. 
But for others of us, if it is our self-worth, your values, that is very much Venus, second house, your values, possessions. So maybe you feel like you've cheated yourself. You've cheated your own self-value here. And you're looking to pick up the pieces. Now five is that dynamic single digit. Remember, I always tell you, it's, it's one of those numbers that it can go either way. Like a five is shaped like this. It's on a rocker. You need to balance or else you fall on your face or fall backwards. This is a time that you really need to get yourself balanced here because you feel like you've gotten robbed. Now you see in, in the background too, like everything looks very bleak. In other decks, it shows people around you. So whatever this is in your life, okay, everyone sees it for what it is. Everyone sees what you're trying to do. And whoever did this to you or whatever this involves, everyone sees it for what it is. You got cheated. Look, everything isn't rosy in life. And of, of all people, you understand it more than anything because you're hardworking people, so dedicated, and you want recognition, and you want accolades, and you want rewards. So with this card here, we're saying for a period of time, your emotions will be a little out of whack, but your self-worth, your self-esteem, the way you're thinking, you're feeling like you're not good enough or you're not there. Please know that you are loved in spirit and in this world, even if people don't say it to you but you are deserving. So when you get into this place of feeling this self-pity, loss, that no matter how hard you work, you're just not getting the recognition you need or the rewards that you need, know that everything is unfolding as it should. And I know it's not easy to hear that. I wish things would be happening in my life a lot faster than they are, but they aren't. And I know out of these things comes growth and maturation. And I know out of these things, the best results come to us. So just know at this time of uncertainty, that's all it is. The five is uncertainty. It is not always what it seems. And the way you perceive it, which is your mental realm and talk about it, is the air. Be very careful. If every thought you ever had, Capricorn, would come true, good or bad, how would that affect the way you think? You'd think only positive thoughts, right? So put your thoughts and your feelings into loving yourself, surrounding yourself by people that are loving and encouraging as well. It's very important. I'll give you some chariot white there for some nice protection and grounding and balance there. Okay, it's very important to always keep yourself surrounded by loving people or loving energy, positive energy, crystals, soapy, smelly, pretty babble baths, you know, um, beautiful walks out in the fields or in the woods. Uh, I like to go through botanical gardens, feeling energy that is loving and positive. Nature has that loving, positive energy. Maybe that could help you since you are such an earth being. Okay, yes. Yeah, so now we have the hangman, our first major, and it's coming direct from spirit here. Now with the hangman, we know that this is a period that you feel like things are not moving forward in your life. Now I have to tell you with the hangman, it's not a bleak thing also. The hangman in the tarot is, it's us on the journey, the fool, okay? And you, it's when he submits himself and volunteers himself into a vulnerable position. He hangs himself upside down by a tree by his foot, okay? And in this state of mind, okay, where he's between worlds because he's slipping in, of, um, in and out of consciousness, he sees the world differently. He's upside down, he has a new perception. So for many of you, you are going to see things differently this year. You're going to have a different point of view. Where in the past you said, I would never do this. Oh, I would never do that. Or, oh, I always wanted to do this. Well, many of us are going to see things from new eyes, a fresh perspective. And we are going to change the way we are thinking and feeling. Now, that's very difficult for Capricornians because ruled by Saturn, you want things to always be the same form and structure. You want solid foundations. This is about you changing things up in your life. Okay, and, and with the hangman too, it's, it's saying like, letting things go. There are a lot of things in the past you thought you'd always hang on to. It's, uh, it's you're going to just let it go. It doesn't serve you anymore. You're going within right now. You're starting to regroup your life. And especially for many of you with this Saturn return in Sagittarius, you better believe you're going to be looking back on the past and trying to reevaluate things. 
Also though, with the hangman, besides letting go, it's some of you will be entering a period of things are not moving fast enough in your life. It feels like the world is passing you by, okay? Well, it is. And at these moments, this is when spirit, God, universe is saying, we need you to just stop right now, not slow down, stop right now. Let us rearrange people, places, and things just for you. And while we're doing that, you get busy doing nothing. Feel helpless, feel vulnerable. And that's not easy for Capricornian because they need to constantly be responsible for things, especially in their own lives. That is very difficult for you. So please know that at this time of stasis, non-movement, when you feel helpless and vulnerable, you are in that position for you to just be. Be in the now. Be grateful for the moment. Look at the world as it's passing you by. See it from a different perspective. Because this is a great year of growth and change for you Capricornians. Like I said, sun, moon, or ascendant. This is a great change. And it's a very difficult task for you. So take that challenge on, okay? Because you love difficult challenges. How about letting the challenge this year be for you to transform and transmute? Because that energy with that hangman is all about change. This is talking about those parts of us that are not always of this world. You know, they are otherworldly kind of things. Um, because it's Neptunian energy. And Neptune is illusion, fantasy, disillusion. You know, when you hang upside down and the blood rushes to your head, that kind of feeling, you're, Ooh, or you're like tipsy, that's Neptunian energy. So this is a floating feeling. And like in a dream state, you're not sure if this is real or not. So with this energy, spirit is saying, Give yourself the time to do nothing but be in the now. Look at things as they're happening around you and try and discern what is real, what is not real. And what is it that you need to change in your life? And as this moves and happens and is changing, just take it all in and, and take in all the information with that beautiful Saturn energy that you have. And then... As things change and you're ready to move forward and you feel the energy to go forward, take with you what you've learned in this period of dormancy to go forward because we do have the Seven of Pentacles. All right. Now, this is May 11th to 20th. So you're going to have a little period of stasis here, January, February. Then with the spring, as things start to come back to life, you'll probably feel that too. Now, this is Saturn and Taurus. Again, this is your ruler. All right. So with another one of the sevens, we know that this is work, dedication, control that you've put into things in your life. See, this tree has got a solid foundation. This tree has been rooted here for a very long time. That's very much your energy. You like solid foundations and strength. But look, it's bearing fruit. So you, you've, you've nurtured this, whatever this thing is. Now, this could be for many years you've been working on this. I'm, they're saying like three or four years for some of you, some of you five. But you've been working on this for a while. And for others of you, this is a lifetime of work. Some of you with retirement is coming, they're saying. Some of you, you will be reaping the benefits. You'll be retiring. And this is your money coming in. And it affords you the possessions, the bells and whistles, things you like. That's very Taurus, things that you have in the third dimension. Okay, very earth energy. And Saturn is the earth energy. For others of us, it is about all the work that we've put into something, maybe in the last year only, or a couple of years, it's starting to bear fruit, yes, where you're seeing growth and expansion. See how the tree's expanding and you're watching it grow, but you're very red, you're grounded and rooted, but look, money. So for some of you, it's about education coming to you. For some of you, it's improved health coming to you. Some of it, it's actually money that's increasing for you out of the unseen. Like, where the heck is this money coming from? Just be grateful and accept it. But it is saying that um, all of this that you put in, you've rooted yourself very strong. You're solid, you know, tough. But people are seeing the payoff for you. And you're seeing the payoff for you. Uh, I don't see you just like ravaging the tree because especially with Capricorn, I see you trying to save things for a rainy day, maybe putting the money into some good investments. 
whether it's a, a, a nice house or a second house or uh, something that's going to bring you long-term income, maybe investing in stocks, IRAs. For, for many of you, you're looking to root this because with this Saturn and Taurus, we know that it's things that you want in this world, but you want it lasting. It's not fleeting. It's never fleeting with Capricorn. It's always about putting things away for a rainy day. Um, so this is definitely a nice card for you to have. This is, this is showing rewards from hard work, Saturn is Okay, they're saying rewards for hard work. This is not just like Jupiter energy just being handed to you. Okay, you put all the work into this and you're seeing the results. So you should see some nice things really developing and spreading for you. I mean, really spreading for you. May, okay, going out there for you. Okay, let's see. Now, I did pull a Wild Wisdom Fairy Oracle. And we have Secret Doorway, again with the five. So we know this year, it's a new beginning. We know there's going to be a lot of energy changing in you. And it's very, very uncomfortable for Capricorns to change suddenly. Um, but know that it is something that you need. You need to have things shaken up. You're too much in like the little round peg in the round hole. It's time for you to be that square peg in the round hole. It's time for you to have things changing and up, you know, and it doesn't always fit and make sense. But it still is. Not everything is round. Not everything is square. And it's time for you to just, you know, stop twitching over that and accepting. You know, because here this card is saying secret doorway. It's working with intuition, second sight, opening, dimensional doorways. And you see how, like, you crouch down here? But look at your face. is determined and filled with, like, what? It's not even wonder. It's like you're looking like, what? Like, you can't believe what you're seeing. You know, you're opening this little doorway. You see the illumination. Get it? Illumination. You're seeing the light. And there's all these, like, cracks in the light. That, that's how the light gets in, through the cracks, okay? And here, look, through the trees, the light is coming in. You know, you have the fairy, the elementals. There's magic around you. But it's beautiful. I love it. You're in this earth element. So for you, it's like you're getting down to a different state of being, which is like we're talking about here, changing. And you're looking at this like almost in disbelief and, and, and you're soaking it all in. Look at the look on your face. You are like determined but shocked and you can't believe this. So let's look at it. There is so much more on the other side of what you fear and what you're afraid to change in your life that you would be filled with shock and disbelief if you would only trust the light that's within you. And they're showing you, they're beckoning you. They're saying, come on, open the door, let the light in. It's all around you. Spirit is always around you. But you're so distracted with your work, 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 that you're not seeing the light. Open the door. If you see the light, open the door. Let it in. Be filled with wonder. Be ablaze with this beautiful fire, the Holy Spirit, universe, higher energy, whatever you call it. It's calling to you. And with that five energy, we know, we know it's the most creative number. And we know that it wants to take you somewhere wonderful and magical if you'll trust it and let it. Our booklet says being able to see change ahead, but not knowing how to deal with it. Understanding that in order to learn something new, one must forget what one thinks one knows. See, that's what we were talking about. That's very Saturn, the old paradigms. It's time to shift. Getting down to the level of others who you do not know. Receiving messages from nature. Understanding the wonderment of the natural processes of change. That's a really nice affirmation. Because when I saw these cards, I was like, you know, I always want to deliver positive messages to everyone. Even when it seems stressful. Even when it seems difficult. There is always something magical and wonderful hidden behind the challenge, the trial, the turbulence. Sometimes we need spirit to guide us. Sometimes we need someone to tell us. So I hope this gives you some help, guidance, and peace. And know that the years that have passed, these eight, nine years, are an ending cycle. And you are entering a new cycle, a new vibration with this 2017 you will be feeling 
enormous growth and change. I mean, your body is going to really be stretching. And watch out for your knees. Capricorn rules the knees of man. So be careful of your knees. Be gentle with them. Arthritis, sports injuries, anything. If you're working hard, give your body some love. You are that earthly being. And with the, the, the glyph is the sea goat. Like I said, so your part in the spiritual realm, that watery realm, and part in the earthly realm. So you're very adaptable, okay, and very courageous. Be careful not to be too headstrong, okay, and not to be too stubborn in the old ways. Welcome in the light. Welcome in the new ways. With all this Aquarian energy you have around here, I'm really feeling that you are really going to have some quirky changes in growth this year. Spirit is saying it is time for you to branch out, okay? Dig yourself out of that earthly tomb and branch out. Travel. See other places. Be with other people. Experience different foods, different things, different ideas. You don't have to adopt all of them, but experience them. Grow, Capricornia. Grow this year. Well, I hope you have a beautiful, happy solar return and happy birthday to all the Capricornians, everyone with the sun, moon, and ascendant. And thank you everyone who's sharing, liking, watching, and booking readings. I'm grateful to you all. And as always, I wish you the best.